I'm Amy Dixon, and welcome to Women's Health Workout in the Time You Have. If you have about 10 minutes, this whole program is just focused on high-end cardio. Now, if you're new to exercise, I want you to take a couple of minutes just marching in place before you start right in with this. Otherwise, let's go get it. This entire workout, you have Beth to watch if you need modifications. Otherwise, get low right here, come on. Nice big step touch. Get a little bigger, come on. Right there, now. We're gonna add a nice beautiful heel across the body. Get ready in four, three, two. Send it right across, right here. Now this move is all inspired by karate, all right? I want you to imagine you have your black belt, all right? We're all black belts in life, right? In four, three, I want you to tie your belt right across your chest, pull it out. Get down, come on, sink a little lower. Now you know I'm not gonna let you down, right? With this comes a little plyometric, all right? A little hop, ready? Let's go, push. Come on, get your knees up, drive it up. Feel that heart rate starting to creep up. That's okay, burning more calories that way, come on. Get going, in four, three, ham curls, hands on hips, let's go. Pull the heel right to the glute. Looking good, you guys. Stay with me. Now we're gonna add that upper body. Straight reaches up with a nice pull down to the waistline. In four, three, two, let's go. Come on, reach. Right by your sides. Nice combination movement. Same heel, the same glutes. Now with anything, we bring the power, right? In four, three, two, give me a little hop right here. Pull. Land softly, but spring out of that leg. Keep the hands coming right by your sides. Four more. And three, we're gonna go right to a wide squat. Two, bring your hands right to your hips. Squat down up and lift. Yes. Woo. Perfect work. Now our next movement is called a wood chop. You're saying, what is a wood chop? <laughs> we're gonna show you, okay? Imagine you have a piece of wood right by your right side. You're gonna go down, chop it, and lift straight up. Down, and lift. Two more, get ready. Down, one more time. Now, chop that wood right to left, and lift. Pivot on that back toe, feel your core. Yes. Come on. Down, lift, down, woo. Down, and up, come on. All I want is two more, then we're gonna jump rope with our right heel, go get it. Come on, send them out. Come on, feel your intensity come up, land softly. This wouldn't be a workout without a nice big beautiful kick, all right? Stay here with your jump rope. We're gonna kick right and tap left. Keep your arms straight up right under your chin. Keep moving, four, three, two, go get it. Kick and tap, yes. Make sure that the front of your foot is looking straight forward. Keep your arms up, nice and simple. Now, I want you to bring that punch with your left arm across the body. Kick and punch, yes. Come on, add some intensity, add some flair. Keep moving, lift and punch. Lift, remember Beth's here for modifications. Ready, I want three kicks and across. One, two, three, let's go. Now think about this. High, higher, and highest, yeah? One, two, three, go get it. One, two, three, I want four more. Now listen, two, three, three more. Get your kicks up there, come on guys, I know you can do this. Two more, lift, lift, lift. One more, you're gonna send your right leg then your left leg back, alternating taps back, go, tap. Woo, come on. Now, we're going cross-country skiing. Right here, you can see that flat snow right ahead of you. If you wanna stay here, you can, in four more. And three, if not, we're gonna add a little hop. Ready, set, double hop, go, hop, hop. Perfect, you guys. Get a little lower, you feeling that in your body? Lower body, yes, four more. Three, two, and one, go get it, low lunge, go. Down, down, yes, woo. 
lower, drop the knee. We're gonna bring it back to a march on the right. Four more. Three, two, and one. March right leg, yes. Woo. All right, not done yet. Little side tap, alternate, modified jack. Here we go, right here, up. Breathe. You're almost done with this side. Stay with it, right here. Four more. Three, two, regular jacks. Come on, you guys, go. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep the belly tucked in. Ready, step, touch left. Hands on hips. Now, you're there. You're halfway there. Stay with me here, four more. Three, keep breathing. Two, now send that heel across. Here we go, boom, heel. Nice and easy. Right back to karate, get ready to tie your belt. Four more. Three, two, come on. Reach up to the chest and tie it, black belts. Push, we're career belt black belts, right? Get low, ready, set, at a hop. You just have to own it, you have to know it. Get low, push. <sighs> Gonna go right into ham curls in four, three, two, ham curls. No hop, hands on hips. Yes. Remember those arms, breathe. Now I know you're saying right now, this is only about 10 minutes, okay? So stay with me. Four more, pull it up. Three, you're gonna reach for the sky, pull those arms right to your side. Ready? Let's do it, come on. Reach, pull. Perfect. Pull it in. Add some intensity in your upper body, right there. Yes, in four, three, you're gonna add a hop. Let's go, come on. Boom, pull. Woo. Four, three, to wide squat, hands on hips. Oh my goodness. Woo. Remember that wood chop? Now this time, we get to go left to right in four. Yes. Here's three. Send those hips back. Two. Are you ready? Send those hands down. Here it is. Down and lift. Good. Make sure you're pivoting on that back toe and lift across your body. Now take your time with this and pull those abs in. Come on. Lift. Breathe. Right after this, we get to go right into jump rope, alternating heels, left to right. Let's go. Four more. Lift. Three, can you sink a little deeper? Two, come on. And one, jump rope heels. Here we go, left, right. Yes. Get those heels in front. Bring your elbows right in by your sides. Stay light. You're almost home, okay? Just finish with us. Gonna add that nice, beautiful roundhouse on the left side with a tap in four, three, two. Here we go. Kick and tap. Really get it out there. I wanna see the front of your foot. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Knees forward. Kick a little higher, I know you can. Let's go. Come on. Good, we're gonna add that cross. In four more. Three, get it up there. Two, yes. One, let's add that punch with the right. Kick and cross. Kick. I wanna see some passion in that punch. Come on, go. Lift, push. Four more. Then we're gonna add those three kicks. Two more. One, go get it, you guys. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. It's right there. One, two, three. Awesome. One, two, three. Go get it. One, two, three. Come on. One, two. All I want is two more. Come on, guys. One, two, three. Back, we're going right into those reverse taps. Left to right, here it is. Tap, 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 yes. Come on. Our last set of cross country skiing, all right? all right? You've got those poles. Let's burn up those calories now. You ready? In four, three, two little hops, here we go. Hop, hop, yes. Lift your chest. Be strong with those poles, come on. Dig in, four more. Three, are you ready? That switch lunge, ready. Set. Here we go. Lunge. Yes. Send that knee down. I know you guys. I know this is hard. Finish with us. Gonna go into a march on the left. In four more. And three. You can do this. 
Two, yes, one, march left. Woo. So amazing. You're right there. Just stay with it. Drive the knees. Gonna go right back to that side tap. Left, right, in four, three. Raise those arms above the head. Here we go, come on, up, up. Get those arms up. Come on, don't hold back now. You're right to the end. Four more. Three, two, yes. Full jumping jacks, here it is. Your chance to shine. Even if you try one, I wanna see it. Let's go right here. Here's four, three, two step touch right. Step together. So good. Now, if that's all the time you have for today, go ahead and cool down. But if you're gonna stay with us for another 10, Get ready to work the lower body and pick up those dumbbells. All right, so you must have some time for some lower body. Let's get going. Grab one dumbbell and come right back. Let's start with the wide squat, down and up. Here we go. Set and up. Send your hips back for me. I really want you to feel like you're sitting back in a chair and lifting up. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Now, this is gonna become a little basketball toss under your leg. Now, don't worry, you don't have to throw the dumbbell anywhere, all right? You're just gonna take it from one hand to the other, under your right leg first, and then your left. Ready? Here it is. Down and lift. Sit and lift. Now, the reason why I love this exercise so much is because it forces you to get down in that squat as well as you can, yeah? Because you've gotta be able to get that dumbbell under. Keep moving. Down and lift. All right, you guys, sit a little deeper. I know you can do this. I'm gonna ask you for eight more. Eight, lift, seven. Now, you only have about 10 minutes, so it means business, right? Yes. Four more. Here's four and three. You're gonna hold the squat at the bottom in two and keep the toss going. Ready? Hold bottom, lift, up. Get under there, hold the legs. Now we're really getting into the muscle fiber, so stay with me right here. Here's four more, we're almost there. Three, you can do this. Two, get it under there. And one, pick up that other dumbbell. Come right back to me. Now, it's time to work the hamstring. Roll your shoulders back. We're going right into a deadlift. Slight bend in the knee. Here it is. Down, two. Now, very important that you keep your back nice and flat. You're hinging at the hips and a nice little bend in your knee. Very important right there, you guys. Looking great. Down and up. Working those hamstrings with the backs of the legs. Down, two. Perfect. Now, Miss Beth over here is gonna stick with modifications for you. So if you need them, please stay with Beth. Two more, down. Now give me one more, and then we're gonna send that right leg back. Down, two, good. Now send the right leg back, stay with the lift, down and up, good. Now from here, if you feel like it, I want you to lift the leg up, here we go. Down, two, little balance, yeah. How about that? That's what my little toddler says. How about that, mom? And down, lift, let's go. Down, two, but it usually pertains to food or popcorn. Yeah, and lift, one more. Down, two. Now take yourself down to where you feel comfortable. Ready? We're gonna bend that leg. Eight of them, here we go. Eight, seven. If you even need to keep your toe back there, do it. Yeah, I want four more. Four, stay with me. Three, you can do this. Two, lift, one, so good. Left leg back, ready? Right back into that deadlift, down and up. Here we go, down and lift. Find your balance here, good. One more time here. Now, lift the leg if you're ready to swing it up. Slow, test the water. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Just give it a try, that's all it's about. Down, two. Lift, go again, down, two. Now, I just need four more, you guys, you can do this. Lift, yes, come on, three more. Then we go right into that layout lunge. Here's two, yes, so good, one more. Great work, now find your balance, hold here. Ready, eight small bends in that right leg. Down and up, it's all about that stabilizing leg. Down and up. Now, you have four more. Four, lift, three, finish with, with us, two, 
and one. Yes. Now shake the legs out. Good. We're going to march right leg, setting this up right here. All right. I want you to imagine that you're inside of a clock. You're going to take a diagonal lunge out to one o'clock. All right. Your back knee's going to bend. Keep your hands right on your hips. Ready? Here we go. Down and back. Good. Send that toe out. Send the knee down. I want to see four more. Four. Get into it. Come on, guys. Three. Yes. Two. Are you ready to go to 11 o'clock on the other side? Here it is. Down and up. Down and up. Yes. Looking so good, you guys. Give me four more. Here's four. Lift. Here's three. We're going to go into a curtsy squat, taking our right leg behind our left. Ready? It goes. Sink down. We all want to be ballerinas, right? Good. Get down there. I want to see just four more. Four. Lift. Three. You've got it. Two. Are you ready? Now left leg behind the right. Down. And up. Down. Sink down, you guys. Come on. Work into that stabilizing leg. Into the glute. Four more here. Four. Up. Three. Now we're going to put it together. You got it. Two. You're going to diagonal lunge and curtsy. Right leg. Down. Lift. Back. Up. Come on. Down. Lift. You can do this. Two more. Down. Up. Back. Last time. Down. Up. Come together. Let's go to the left. Down. Lift. Back. So good. Right there, you guys. Two more. This is money right here. Down. Lift. Good. One more here. Down. Lift. Back. And stand. Now, bring those heels together. Stand right with the ballet movement. Roll your shoulders back. Nice, beautiful ballet squat. Here we go. Down and up. Good. Now, find a nice toe turnout for yourself. You don't want to overdo it. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs and your glutes. Keep moving. Go as deep as you want to go, all right? Four more here. Four. Three. We're going to stick with this squat, but we're going to add a calf raise. Ready? We squat first. Down. Up. Lift and down, down, up. Lift up on those toes. Here we go. Down, up. Yes, get up there. I know you can do this. How you feeling? I'm feeling it in my calves. Down, up. Lift. Give me one more. So good. Lift. Great work. Now, left leg forward, right leg back. Little rear glute lift. Now imagine all your work right here in your left leg. Let's lift the leg. Right leg lifts. Good. Turn that toe out. Think about that glute back there. Doing so good. Eight. Woo. Seven. Six. Get it up there. Now, notice your low back. It's joining the party. Four more. Yeah. Three. It's a good party. Two. Yes. And one. Now, switch legs. Right leg front, left leg back. Ready? Toe out. Let's lift. Oh, such control and grace. Power right here. Come on. Lift. In that glute. We're feeling it. I know it. Ready? Four more. There's four. Three. Here's the good news. You only have two more left and you're done. Yes. So good. Such a great job. Now, if you have more time, keep your dumbbells because we're moving right on to upper body. If not, go ahead and cool down. All right, so let's make some time to sculpt some sleek, sexy upper bodies. Let's get to it. Starting with a bent over row, roll your shoulders back, keep your back flat. I want you to pull your elbows right up by your sides. Ready? Here we go. Nice big singles. And down. Exhale up. Squeeze that upper back, you guys, right there. Are you feeling it in your upper back? Because I am. Here we go. Lift. Good. Nice lean waist as well. Go ahead and hold here. Pull back. I want four more. Here we go. Here's four. Then we're going to change our timing. Three, two. We're going to take it up for three and down on one. It goes one, two, three, and lower. Think about it. Up, two, little squeezes. Go get it. Come on. One, two, three. No time to waste. One, two. Nice flat backs. One more. One, two. Now I want to pulse every time. Here it is. Pulse. Good. Really get into that upper back, you guys. Let's go. Eight, seven. Come on. Six. Can you feel that? And four, three, two, 
Good work. Now slowly roll back up. We're going to get right into bicep curls. Elbows by your sides. Roll your shoulders back. Ready? Here we go. Lift. Good. Exhale up and inhale down. Now think about that bicep right here. You want to squeeze at the top. Now don't just throw the weights up there. Work it all the way up and all the way down. Four more. Three. Two. You're going to balance on your right. Lift your left leg up. Stay with this for four. Yeah. Three. Little balance challenge. You didn't know that was coming, right? Yeah. Step down. Other side. Let's go. Four and lower. Three. Two. Now go get down in a squat. Set this up. You're going to sit deep. Concentration curl. Elbows on your knees. Shoulders back. Chest tall. Ready. You can do this. Eight. Seven, keep your abs in. Six, backs are flat. Five more, come on. Four, oh yeah. Three, I surprised you, threw a little lower body in there as well, right? Yeah, one more here. Lift, good job, you guys. Slowly stand up. Now for our triceps, I challenge you to keep both hand weights. Send your left leg back. We're gonna come right up over our head. Very important that you keep your arms nice and close to your ears. Ready, we're gonna bend down and up. Here we go, down, lift. Exhale, work in the back of the arms, so important. We usually carry a lot of body fat back there, so let's get back there and work, come on. No flabby arms anymore, four more, three, two. Now I want you to hold at the bottom, take it down and hold. Now we're gonna pulse lifting up, ready? Here we go, lift, lift, very small movement. Yes, small and contained, elbows in. We're not stopping now. I want four, three, come on, two. This is where it counts. And release. Bring it all the way down. Now, not going to lie to you. This is an all-shoulder blast. So we're going to start with the front. Get your lower body nice and relaxed. Nice little bend in the elbow. Starting with a beautiful front raise. Ready? Here we go. Right here. Lift. Yes. <sighs> Exhale. Now, find your range of motion. Again, don't just throw it up there, all right? I want you to use your shoulders, not momentum. Ready, bring it up to a V for two counts. Up, open, yes. Adding a little bit more lower chest, a little bend in the knee. Here we go. Up, lift. Yes, I know you're feeling it, you guys, right there in the shoulders. Now, I'm only gonna ask you for four more because I know you can, okay? Good, here we go, three. This is where it counts. Stay with me. Two more. Lift. One more. Come on. Lift. Two. Yes. So good. Now, I'm a former gymnast, so we can't get away without doing a T-raise, right? Roll your shoulders back. Bring your elbows right into the side. Little bend in your elbow. Singles. Raise it up. Here we go. Up. Yeah. Pull right into the center. Changing the angle right here, working into the middle of the shoulder and the side. Good. Squeeze in the center. Four more here. Four. Three. We're going to make this a full circle. Two. Take a little more time. Take it up for two. Up. Oh, yeah. Now, we don't just always work in one range of motion, right? We have to go further than just that T. Good. Go again. Lift. Now, how do we feel about four more? I think we're feeling good, right? Four, lift, woo! I wasn't gonna take no for an answer. Good, two more right here. Lift, two, come on, finish. Last one, up, two, yes. Now, best part, nice big shoulder press, okay? Roll your shoulders back, bring your weights right up to your shoulders, ready? We're gonna press overhead, here we go. Up, yes. Elbows right to the side, come on, you guys. I'm not gonna ask for many more. Here we go, four more, let's go. Four, yes, three, two, squeeze through that back. One, wonderful job. No, we're not done yet. We have the back of the shoulder, right? All right, roll back down, you're coming here. I wanna see your knuckles forward. You're gonna lift your elbows out to the side. Ready, here we go, lift. All the way up, yes. Exhale up, squeezing through that upper back, little rear deltoid. Four more. Three, you guys are right there. Two. And one. Woo! You are done with your shoulders, all right? Set your hand weights down. Make sure they're off to the side. We're gonna come down to the floor now for push-ups. Time to work the chest. So go ahead and come down. I want you to start out here. 
If you need to modify, please do so. Stay on your knees, get your hands nice and wide. If not, come up to your toes. We're gonna do eight beautiful push-ups. Here we go. Eight, up, seven. Send those elbows out, keep your back flat. Yeah, I think we have four more. Here's four. Lift, three, come on, you guys. Two, and one, yes! Now, come down to your knees. We're gonna change this a little bit. This is called a bias push-up. Hands are narrow. You're gonna start here. You're gonna step your right hand out and push up. Bring it back in. Good. In four, three, you're gonna alternate sides. Here we go. Out, down, up, and center. Now left, left, down, lift. So good. Changing the angles, changes the muscle fibers we're working. Out, down, lift. It's okay to stay on your knees. Out, down, lift. Again, out. Bring the chest down. Exhale up. Come on, guys. I want four more. Four. Dip. Lift. Come back center. Here's three. We're not going to quit now, right? Here's two. Down. Lift. I want one more. Out. Down. Lift. Center. Now stretch back. Oh, this is your reward. Now, here's the good news. You're finished with one set, but guess what? We have one more, okay? All right, so bring yourself back out. This is your last set, all right? I want eight beautiful push-ups on your toes or on your knees. Here we go for eight. Eight, up, seven, get into that chest. Six, body flat. Five, come on. Here's four, lift, three, come on. Two, and one, oh, so good. Last set of bias push-ups, hands in the center, elbows back. You ready? We're going to the right first. Here it is. Right and down, back and center. Left, draw the chest down. Good. Center, right. Now, we're not gonna quit on a challenge, no? Good, because you're here today. Right, down, lift. It's all about time management, and this is what really gets it done. One more each side, right, down, center, uh-huh. Left, down, center, you did it. Take a stretch back, hold right here. Now we're gonna slowly come up to our knees. I want you to send your right leg right out in front. Come to a standing position, one leg at a time. Now reach your hands up, just lift for me. Take in that energy that you just created. Now open out, fingertips up, stretch to your biceps. Oh, hold here. Now, slowly bring both of your hands behind your back. Stretch to your chest. Oh, yeah. Draw your shoulder blades together. You guys are sounding great back there. Good. Hold here. Now, our shoulders deserve a great stretch. So go ahead. Bring your right arm across your chest. Hold here. Drop the shoulder down. Looking good, you guys. How you feel? Feeling in your shoulder? So good. good. Now take this right arm right up by your ear to stretch to the tricep. Just bring it up. Hold here. Oh, find length in the back of the arm. Now take your left arm across the chest for your shoulder. Finish here. Really roll the shoulder down. Get in there. Hold. Oh, this is your reward. Don't quit now, right? Good. Go ahead and bring that arm straight up by your ear. Tricep. You're right there. Good, now give me two big inhales from the floor. Down, lift, one more, lift. You did such a great job. Now, don't leave now. It is your time to really get into some flexibility training and some balance. Come back to us. All right, so we have time today for balance and flexibility. Very important component to fitness. Make sure that you always include it in your workouts. Let's get started. Bring those toes out right here. Let's start with the grand plie. Down and lift. Nice, beautiful ballet arms. Now, I want you to remember, just because we're working these two components of fitness doesn't mean that we're not burning calories, all right? So always remember that right here. Down and lift. Four more. Here we go in four. Lift. Going to go right into a pulse, in two, good. Small little pulses at the bottom here, good, you guys. Keep those knees angled out over the toes, 
right here. Eight more. Come on, guys. Eight, seven, six, five. Yes, four, three. We're going to go right back to that grand plie. Down and lift. Feel those legs flush out. Nice dynamic movement. Four more. Here we go. In four and three. We're going to start a nice little lunge from right to left with big shoulder rolls back. Here we go. Roll. Very fluid movement should feel so good in your entire body right here. You deserve this. Take advantage of your time. Make sure that you do something for yourself every day. Here's four more. And three, two. I want you to send those arms up nice and long, big circles. Full range of motion. Oh, that feels so amazing. Right here. Here's four more. Three, we're gonna go right into a step tap, side to side, send your left and your right arm across. Right here. Good, working that whole spine right here. Big rotation. Remember that spine always works in a big direction, right? It doesn't just move front to back. Nice circular motion. Four more. Three, get ready. Two, now airplane arms. Send both arms out. Yes. Milk it up right here. Come on, guys. Get going. Four more. Here we go. Four. And three. Two. Going to go right into a chair pose. Go ahead and bring both legs together. Go ahead and sit. Send your hands up to the sky. Sit back. Bring your ankles and your knees together. Now, this is a very powerful pose. Hold here. Really feel the strength and power in your lower body and your upper body. Bring those arms right up by your ears. Now we're gonna balance. I want you to rise up onto your toes and back down three times. Lift and hold. Just hold. Really get up there and come down when you're ready. Good, go again. Test the waters, yeah? How's that feel? Come down, bring your ankles together. One more time, lift. You've got it, find length. Reach out of the top of your head, right? And lower, yes. Bring your right leg right on top of your left. Sit back for a little figure four. Bring your hands into your chest in prayer. Hold here, sit a little deeper. How do those glutes feel? Feeling good. Hold here, four, three, two. Let's switch other side. Come down onto your right leg, lift your left leg up. Make sure you bring it up onto the upper part of that front leg. Sit back, bring your hands into prayer. Sit back and notice that you have differences in your body, right? You may be able to balance better on one side than you do on the other. Just be mindful of it. And remember, best there for modification if you need it. Great job. Now go ahead, come back down, send this leg out. This is our track star combination. I want you to start with a tap and back. Good. We're all track stars. <laughs> We're at that starting gate, okay? Drive it in. Now, try a little balance, pull the knee in, if you can, try not to tap back, yeah? Notice all the work that's happening in your stabilizing leg in your left. Four more. Three. Keep your core pulled in. Two. Yes. And one. Now hold. Warrior three. Hold here. Really find your strength. Find your balance. Reach out through your fingertips and your heel. You can do this. Hold here. You're stable. Right into warrior two. Circle up and out. Now turn your left toe out. Make sure your right toe is pointing forward. Look out and over that arm. Now extended side angle. Bring your left arm down to the leg. Reach up and over. Really feel that stretch. Open your chest. Exalted warrior. Reach up. Yes. Oh, find length in your waistline. Now we're going to dance between the two. Make sure we're breathing. Oh, holding here in four, three, two. Here we go. Down, two, lift. Should feel so good right there. Keep your legs the same. Really reach over. Notice that your range of motion is starting to increase, yeah? Yeah. Good, you guys. Right here. Four more. That's why flexibility training is really important, yeah? yeah? yeah. Now hold right here. Lift. Really extend. Turn your left toe forward, extend your right hand up, bend the knees, nice forward fold right at the waist. Reach down for the floor. Now if you can, go ahead and stay here with a slight bend in your knee, send your right hand up to the sky, right here. Call this a superstar combination. Look up at that hand, because we're all superstars, right? 
Good, now switch, other side, bring it down. Good, look up at the left, reach, open the chest. We're gonna dance between the two in four, three, two, here we go. Down, lift, down, really start to notice the length you're creating up the back of the leg, you guys, right here. Also that chest and the back. Lift, four more. Here's three, two, one. So good, both hands down. Now reach your hands forward, bend the knees, slowly come up to stand. Now bring it right back into chair pose. Hold here. We're gonna repeat that balancing act again, all right? Gonna raise up on your toes, keep your ankles together, come in and out of it. Let's do it three times, bring it up. Hold. You're getting better at it, I know, I can tell. And take it down. Two more times, just lift, lift. Good, keep those knees together, ankles together, and back down, navel pulled in, yeah? Last time, lift. Stay with this, and slowly bring it down. Now, take your left leg, cross it over onto your right. Sit back, hands in prayer. Perfect, look out on a spot on the floor that's not moving. Really dial into this stretch and this balance. Hold four, three, two, and switch. Take the leg down, help yourself up with it right here. Sit back, bring your hands into your chest, just hold. Oh, feels so good, sit a little deeper. Now, come to stand, I want you to open out to the side. Remember our track star combo on this side? Gonna trap the toe and back. Ready, here we go. In and back. You're at the starting gates again, right? Bend that base leg. Really feel the work in your stabilizer. It's not about the moving leg. In and back. Now drive the knee and try not to tap back if you can. Go for balance. Kick the heel back. Yeah. You're just getting your stride now. Let's go. Four more. And three. Two, don't tap the toe down. If you can, we're going for balance. Warrior three, slowly bring your hands out. Go to a point at which you feel power and stability and hold, find your length right here. Here's four, three, open out to warrior two. Great job, look out and over that right hand. Make sure your right toe is pointed out. Own this, you're doing such a great job. Now, side angle, go ahead, reach up and over with your left arm, feel the chest open. Hold here, look up at that hand if you can, open a little more, you're good and warm. Good, other side, reach up and over, lift. Get ready to dance in four, three, two, take it over, over. Good, you guys, reach. Find that range of motion is starting to increase all the way over and back. Good. Over, two, and back. I want four more right here. Four, reach. You're almost done. That's a good thing. Up, two more. Over, two. Good, last time right here. Reach, two. Now hold here in Exalted Warrior, just reach. Good job. Now turn both toes forward, reach your hands up, just extend and lift. Now come down into a nice wide squat. Bring your hands right on your knees. Now we're gonna rotate up through the navel and back down in four, three, two, here we go. Inhale, good, and exhale all the way down. Take your time, feel the entire vertebral column working here. Oh, two more times. Good, oh, feel that entire back last time. Good, all the way down. Now I want a big inhale, roll your shoulders back. Ready, down. Lift. Exhale, one more time. Lift up, exhale. You just finished nice. that entire program. You should be very proud of yourself. Remember to drink lots of water, stay hydrated, and come back and join us anytime. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I'm the stern one. 
She's a really hot body. Check it out. <laughs> what, what happens when they start sweating? They sweat. <laughs> what do you have to do? I do nothing until the director says I'm going to stop and you can pack them, but I still want to see sweat. They'd have big issues because you're going to see the sweat flying. <laughs> yes. Three. I want the biggest piece of wood you've ever seen right there on the side. Go get it. Cut. <laughs> and up. And up. Big hand for the ladies. That's a wrap, gentlemen. Hi, I'm Amy Dixon, and welcome to your core workout. You're going to need a stability ball. The great thing about the stability ball is it's going to work for you, and it's going to create range of motion that you cannot get on the floor. So let's get started. Let's start with a basic crunch. Bring your seat right there into the center. Slowly walk yourself down one vertebrae at a time, okay? Find that sweet spot for you. Bring your hands behind your head. Bring your chin off your chest, and I want a great big inhale when you lift. In four, three, two, here we go. Lift. Nice and easy. Good, you guys. Really draw in through that core. Focus on your breath here. Lift. Just a basic crunch. Straight up and lower. Lift. Good. All the way up. Exhale. Yeah, we're here. Here we go. Four more. Three. Now we're going to change the timing. We're going to take it up for two and down for two. Here we go. Lift. Two. Now try to increase that range of motion. Go up a little bit higher than what you're used to. There you go. Right there. Lift. Two. Lower. Give me one more right here. Lift. Two. Now pulse for me for three and release. One. Two. Lift. Yeah. Can we go one, two, a little higher. Let's go. One, two, Three, last time here, you guys. One, two, now nice slow singles. Here it is, four, yeah. Three, we're gonna add that pelvic tilt. Good, you with me? Ready, here it is, good. Full range of motion, lift the booty up, squeeze it, right there. Come on, I'm gonna ask you for four more. Four, lift, three, come on, two, and one, take a stretch. You guys deserve this. Yeah, go back. <laughs> you guys are amazing. We're feeling it today. All right, go ahead, walk yourself back up. Now, we're gonna do some work focusing on our side. I want you to take your right palm up, bring your left hand behind your head, and crunch down towards that knee. In four, three, two, here we go. Reach and back, reach, good reach. Nice and easy right there. Bring your pinky right to the side of the leg. Come on. Bring the bottom portion of that rib cage right towards the hip bone. Here's four more. Nice little side bend. Three. Working through those obliques. Two. Now I want you to reach across your body. Here we go. Reach and open. Reach. Bring your shoulder blade off the ball, you guys. Come on. You can do this. Straight over. Good. Reach it over. Up. Now we're going to combine the two. Take it nice and easy. Lift up and open. Side and back. Come across the body. Open. Side. Looking good, you guys. You feeling that obliques? Yeah? Reach. One more. Reach. Come on. Go get it. Go a little bit more. Yes. All right. Switch sides. Right hand behind the head. Left palm up. Roll your shoulders back. Ready? Let's reach for that knee. Here we go. Want to be balanced, right? Good. Right there. Go for it. Notice your range of motion starting to increase. Four more. Three. Two. Now reach across the body here. Reach and open. Yeah. Come on. Shoulder blade off. Feel that range of motion. Feel those obliques. No more love handles. Four more. That sleek streamline physique. Two. Now reach across into the knee, over, open, side, and back. Good, over, open, side. Looking good, you guys. Four more, come on. 
You can taste it. It's right there. Go get it. Good. Two more times. Lift and back. Stretch. Come on. Up. Open. Yes, you did it. Go ahead and take a little relaxer. Oh, yeah. You deserve this. Find the length. Feel your whole abdominals lengthen, lengthen and stretch. Now slowly roll yourself back up. Now you're going to come up. Turn yourself over. I love this exercise, OK? We're going to go from here. Imagine that you've got an ab roller right in front of you. Bring your hands into a triangle. Keep your body in one long line. Now, if you need to grab a towel or a mat for your knees, please do so. If not, get ready. Roll your shoulders back. Ready? We're going to go out for two and back. Out. Two. Yes. Draw your elbows in. This takes a lot of control in your entire core. Your core isn't just about your abs. It's about your back as well. There you go. Pull it back. Come on. Here we go. We're going for four. Yeah? You know what to expect? You know what to bring? Three more. Focus on your breath. Come on. Out. Don't hold your breath. Take it out again. You did it. Pull it in. Excellent work. Now, we're going to go into a jackknife. So a nice little knee drag. Walk yourself out. Keep your distance small. I want you to just bring your thighs right to the top of the ball. Now from here, you're going to draw your knees in and press back out for a count of two. We go in, two, and back. Good, you guys. Nice and easy. Really use that time. Draw it in. Keep your backs flat. Protect it. Go again. Come on. Pull it in. Now, as you get better at this at home, you can lengthen out the distance between your knees and your hands, yeah? Yep. But for now, let's start from here. It's a good place to start. Pull it in. Good, take it back out. In for two. Good, I want two more right here. In, two. Looking good, you guys. How you feeling? In, yeah. last one. Now, push yourself back slowly. Now it's time to work the back. Take your legs out nice and wide from here. I want you to bring both of your hands right behind your head. Or if you need a modification, watch Beth. We're just gonna lift for nice, beautiful singles. Ready? Here we go. Lift. Lift. Come on. Breathe. Remember that waistline goes all the way around. It's not just about what's going on in front, but you've got a nice, beautiful streamlined back as well. Come on. Four more like this. Four. Three. Two. Then we're going to add a little rotation right to the left. Up and left. Good. Back down. Up and lift. Center. Two more only. Up, lift, center. Last one, you guys. Up, little turn, center. Take a nice little stretch first, okay? I just want you to hold here. Feel that ball right there. Feel your lower back relax. We're going to go swimming before we're done, all right? So it's time to shine. Take yourself back out. From here, extend your hands for me straight out in front of you, and we're going to swim back for two, here we go. Open, lift. Now, this is all about range of motion and what feels good for you. If you wanna come up a little bit higher, do it. Try and touch the backs of those legs, the sides. Good, open. So good, you guys, that entire back is working. I'd like to see four more. Here's four, lift, yes, come on. Lift, two more times and you're there. Up. Two, good, your last time here. Open, excellent, wonderful job, you guys. Let's take the ball, we're gonna come right to our back. I want you to place that ball between your legs, okay? This is a reverse curl. Very small movement, but a real movement, all right? You're gonna get great results from this. I want you to take yourself down. Bring your ball right between your legs right here, squeezing it in. You're going to get a little bit of inner thigh work as well. Take both of your hands right by your sides, and we're going to lift straight up. Here we go. Up. Lift. Good, you guys. Up. Now, this is a good starting point. So if you want to stay here, you can. If not, bring your hands behind your head and add the crunch. Lift. Yeah. Straight up. Come on. Get it up there. Small movement with the lower body. Don't rock and roll this. It's controlled. Two more. Now, 
hold the crunch in, hold. Right there, come on, keep your chin off your chest. I know you're feeling this right in your abdominals. Ready, release, keep a hold of the ball. Extend both of your hands up. I love this exercise, it's called the ball toss. You're gonna lower the legs down for two and hands as well. Two, grab the ball, take it over your head. Yeah, bring the ball back between the legs, lower, down, two, lift, grab the ball, lower, two. I want four more here. There's four, oh yeah. Nice dynamic movement, a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie to you, I want three more. Being real right now. Two more, down, two, you're not gonna quit right now, you have one left. Down, two, grab it, take it back over your head, up, two, you did it. Take the ball right on your knees, have it help you get up, roll up. Now, taking the ball right in front, we're gonna do some stretches. You did it, all right? It's time to stretch. Bring your hands to the ball. From here, go ahead and have a seat. Lower down. Just feel that stretch in child's pose. Feel your lower back release. And we're gonna round up nice and easy for two. Here we go. Up, two, and sit back down. Good. Lift up. Tuck the navel in. Really feel that stretch. Up, two. And down, now one more time here. Lift, two, and down, so good. Come all the way up to your knees. Take your right hand right in the center of your ball. I want you just to stretch your left hand up, reach. Really feel that twist happening in your waistline. Looking beautiful out there. Feeling good? All right, I think we're feeling even better than that. Bring your hand back to center, reach up and over. That was a great workout, you guys. Go ahead and bring both of your hands back to your center. Now, have a seat on your right side. Go ahead and tuck that leg back behind. Reach up and over. We worked our waistline in all different directions, so it's important to stretch that way as well. Just hold here, reach, open your chest. Lift. Now, we're gonna switch the ball to the other side. Go ahead and roll it on over and switch your legs. Sit comfortably. Lift tall. Take your right arm up and over. Oh, really stretch here. Stay relaxed, open your chest, lift. Be proud of yourself, you guys. You did such a great job. You're on your way to that beautiful, streamlined, sexy six pack. Thanks for joining us.